Okay, well, I'm not gonna make you wait any longer. Check out your new website. Um. Getting a new website can be unpredictable even when you pay a lot for it. So I wanna find out if any small business owner, regardless of their website marketing knowledge, can get a truly great website for their business without a crazy price tag attached and without months of searching, waiting, and revisions using nothing but Fiverr.com. And no, before you ask, this is not sponsored. In fact, I'm actually gonna be putting up my own money for this little experiment. The game is simple. I'm gonna choose one lucky or possibly unlucky business from my YouTube audience. Then I'm gonna pay out of pocket to hire Fiverr's top rated website copywriter to write the best homepage and their top rated web designer to turn that copy into a functional, nicely designed website that's actually live and online. And I'm just gonna choose the ones with the best reviews and trust them to do what they do best, only providing them with what they ask me for. Because while I know all too well what goes into a successful website, the average small business owner doesn't. So I wanted this test to really closely mimic how this would go without someone like me getting in the way of the process. And no, I'm not gonna let the pros in on the game when I hire them. As far as they know, this is just any other job. In the end, I'm gonna reveal the final price tag, but the real test here is gonna be whether or not the finished website is actually good enough for our real business owners to wanna to use it instead of what they have now, or did I just waste money on a site that isn't good enough to see the light of day? So who did I choose as our guinea pig in this little test? I got a lot of entries from you guys, but I ended up picking this one. Vegas Bees is a humane bee removal service that relocates the bees rather than killing them. We'll put them in a beehive box, and then we'll take them to one of our apiaries where they continue living their happy life. That's amazing, and because the world needs bees, and because of my uneasy alliance with the bees that I share my rooftop patio with, I knew this was the website that needed my help the most. So I asked Pete and Betsy what they liked about their current website, and it came down to one main message that they wanted to keep. A lot of the information about saving bees and getting the message out, what we do, and this is the better way than calling an exterminator, we really want to focus on that. They also told me that they think their current wording is, you know, on the amateurish side, so they wanted to amp up the professionalism and trust factors but they wanted to keep their more quirky side intact with the redo. So knowing that gives me what I need to get things going with phase one of this little experiment, which is choosing and hiring the best copywriter for the job. Okay, so then when it's all finished, I'm gonna show you guys the finished site, and then it's your decision to make if it's up to par for you to either use it or not. Sound good? Awesome, can't wait to see it. Okay, I really like these guys and I want to see them succeed, so the pressure's really on me now to find the perfect writer. So I'm here on Fiverr.com, and if you don't know about the site, it's basically just a marketplace for freelancers in, you know, pretty much any category you can think of, but the quality is all over the place in my experience. So the best way that I can think of to choose is to just put my trust in the reviews that other people have left. And I also think it's a good idea to search for freelancers who are designated as pro verified. So you'll just wanna to go to fiverr.com slash pro, then you can do a search for website sales copy. So why are we even hiring a writer at all here? You might have opened this video thinking that we're just gonna hire a talented designer and that's all we need, right? Well, for any good designer to create a good site, they really need to be starting with the words because Believe it or not, the words or the copy on your website are what's gonna sell you or sink you. All the beautiful design in the world won't help you if you're not starting off with something compelling to say. And unless you know how to come up with that on your own, this might be a really cost-effective way of hiring a trained professional. So hopefully that's exactly what we'll find here. Now I'm looking through these listings and it can be hard to know who to choose, right? Well, like I said, I'm gonna be looking for options with a perfect five-star rating as well as a high number of those five-star reviews. 
I'm also gonna factor in the descriptions just to make sure it's what we're looking for, which is sales-focused copywriting for conversions. If it's mentioning SEO-optimized copy, that's something completely different, so I'm gonna be ignoring those. So this one looks like a solid choice, a perfect five-star rating with 85 reviews. And checking him out on his listing, I can see he's got three different packages, um, and it's based on the number of words. And going through the current Vegas Bees website and applying my best judgment on what the new version needs, I actually think our best bet is going to be a mostly single page website that lays everything out right on the homepage. So given that, I think we probably need the premium option here, which is going to give us a really strong 1200 word homepage. And that should be plenty to give out all the important information and to have enough good quality content for Google to latch onto for searches. Now your site may need more pages and you would just need to factor that into your choices here. I just think this particular business is easily explained in a single page. Okay, so I just ordered this and then after I paid, it's asking me to provide some basic info on the business to get them started. And boy, is it basic. <laughs> Going through these questions, my first reaction is that this is putting way too much on me as a business owner, basically making me tell you what I need when maybe I don't know what I need, right? I mean, that's what a good web pro is supposed to bring to the table. They're supposed to ask smaller questions that'll help them piece all the written content together in whatever way will be most compelling and persuasive to the reader. But this is asking some basic questions about the business and about who the ideal customer is. But beyond that, it's pretty much asking me to list out the pages in this case, it's just the home page, and then to tell them what should go on that page. I don't know, man, you tell me. Ideally, what I would expect here would be for him to want to schedule even a 15 minute Zoom consultation where it could be more of a conversation where he can extract what he needs to get out of me as the business owner so that he knows what to write. Or at the very least, a much more detailed questionnaire here. I'd expect to see questions here like, what problems do your customers come to you to help them solve? Uh, how do you solve it? Is that solution unique? What features does your service include that would be beneficial to your clients? That sort of stuff. But in the spirit of not micromanaging this project myself, I literally just filled it in the way a typical business owner might, who's not necessarily super savvy about what should go on their website. So at this moment, I don't have a whole lot of confidence that this is gonna go that well. So. Um, Let's just see what we get. Okay, so it's just been a few days and I got the draft back for the homepage copy. I gotta say it's not what I was expecting. So based on what I filled out, I thought it wouldn't be enough to write a really good page, but I'll admit it, I was wrong and it's actually really good. It's got all the solid information that conveys why bee rescue is better than extermination, it has some persuasive benefits, and it's even written with a lot of personality. Remember, they wanted to keep some quirkiness, and it's even got some dad jokes sprinkled in there. No homeowner wants to take a one-way trip to Singapore. I mean, come on. And if there was anything that's not right, it would probably be easily solved in just one round of revisions. But I think we're good to get onto the next phase here, which is choosing the best designer who can take these words and give a good shape to them. So we're back here on fiverr.com slash pro, and this time I'm gonna search for a custom Elementor website. So I could have just said custom WordPress website, but I actually specifically want someone who's gonna make it with Elementor, because that's gonna make it really easy for anyone to go in and make small tweaks to it, which I think is super important. So there are actually lots of seemingly good options here with five-star reviews and lots of them, but immediately I'm gonna start eliminating people who have less than 100 reviews and anyone who mentions that it's for e-commerce since we don't really need that. And you know, anyone whose work just looks amateurish and I'm also gonna do some price filtering too. So this option looks pretty solid to me and he's also got a perfect five-star record with nearly 1,000 reviews. Not to mention his work samples look pretty good. So his basic package will be plenty for our one page website plus blog section. So I like what I see, let's do it. Okay, so I just ordered and I did confirm with him that he is gonna be using uh, Elementor to build the site out, which is great. And of course he requested some basic info, including that copy document. 
colors we like, as well as sample websites that um, we like for reference and inspiration. And that's actually super important because if you don't give this random designer anything to go on, they'll probably make you something super random. And where most businesses actually go wrong here is they just start looking at their competition for inspiration and those websites are probably at least 10 years old, so you're basically starting from behind. What I like to do instead for current website inspiration is go to a website called themeforest.com and just go down that rabbit hole for a while. Just start looking at all the different sites and I just bookmark the websites that I think would be a great starting point in terms of colors, uh, layouts, image styles, whatever I gravitate toward the most. So I actually found a few on behalf of Vegas Bees and these are the two that they liked best. So I filled out the rest of the questionnaire and now we just wait to see what they come up with. Okay, I just got the alert that the homepage is ready, so let's just take a look together. Okay, so they're using the hero image I asked them to because, you know, it's always a good idea to show the happy result of your service over, you know, an in the weeds image. Like if we showed bees or bees being removed, that's really not what people wanna see necessarily. But the problem here is that this image really just doesn't connect with the headline yet. So we might want to tweak it to say something like, take your yard back with Las Vegas bee removal and rescue. Something to just bridge the gap here. But anyway, I'm not sure why this section's broken off from the hero. It really should be up here. I feel like I'd rather see this section treated as two separate ones. And this beekeeper 3D image just really isn't doing it for me. Um, overall, I feel like I'm underwhelmed with this design, to be honest. Um, it does not feel like it takes the inspiration sites into account very much. It just feels very, very basic. And before I show it to Pete and Betsy, I do wanna give the designer one more shot to get it right. But the good news is here, unlimited revisions are included with this particular uh, designer. So I do think that if I can just let him know what isn't working for me, hopefully he can fix it pretty quickly. Okay, it's been another couple days and we've got the revision back, so it's definitely better. We've updated this headline to match the photo behind it and you can see that the colors are just more in line with the example website that we gave them. It feels a little bit more special than the first version did, I think. But it doesn't really matter what I think. Will Pete and Betsy at Vegas Bees like their new site enough to replace the current one with this new version? Or did I just waste 1600 bucks? Let's find out. I'm actually a little bit nervous. Are you guys excited to see how this turned out? Very excited. These past two weeks have been rough. We've been dying to see it so bad. Okay, well, I'm not going to make you wait any longer. Check out your new website. How are you feeling? Um, intrigued. Um, the picture that's chosen is interesting. As far as a one-page website, like how this is set up, I, I think it looks great. I know the page we had was very long, and this is more to the point. And I like it. I like the white space. I like how clean it looks. I think it's a win. Anything you don't like? No, it's it's only going to be maybe two or three things. A picture or two might change. But as far as I, I love the hero section. Ah, they liked it. They're probably going to make a few revisions with the designer. But in the end, they've decided to use it. So what did it end up costing me? I paid $1,012.80 for the copywriting and $522.23 for the design for a grand total of $1,535.03 for a single page website plus a blog section. So was it worth it for what we got? I think I would classify this as a modest success for the price point. On one hand, we got some pretty great copy for the homepage, but overall, I was less happy with the design. And yeah, I did pay double for the copy because in my opinion, the copy is at least twice as important. So I would take stellar copy with a mediocre design over bad copy and a great design any day. And keep in mind, this is only for one page. Granted, the homepage is generally gonna be your most intensive one. So if you were to add in you know, an about us page, pricing, FAQs for instance, those pages wouldn't likely cost you nearly as much, but it's definitely worth bearing in mind. 
So what could have made this more of a win in my book? Well, for starters, I might have actually hired a different designer, but it's hard to know that before you've already gotten back the finished product. So I think that I'd be more careful to choose someone who brands themselves as definitely more of a designer than a developer. So I think that's what went a little sideways here. I get the idea that he's more on the IT developer side than the creative design side, which explains a lot of the painfully basic choices he made here. And in terms of copywriting, this particular writer just so happened to knock it out of the park, but I honestly don't know how with that questionnaire. So I wouldn't count on getting that lucky yourself. So it would really help to walk into that hiring process with a really good grasp on what kind of content you need, just in case they don't pull it out of you with their questions. And I've got you covered in that department with my free on-demand masterclass. So I'm gonna show you what pages you need and what needs to go on those pages so you can either do it completely yourself or you'll at least know what to ask for if you decide to hire it out. So click right here to save your spot and I will show you everything you need to make your website an automated client generating machine. Click right here and I'll see you in a second.